Hi there. Are you a newbie to Arduino programming? Or have you ever found yourself in a situation where you finished building an Arduino project yet felt a knowledge gap because of your programming skills? Or do you want to master the basis of Arduino programming so you can gain full control of any Arduino project you're working on? If this is you, this is the right video for you. In this video, I will walk you through budget-friendly projects that will help you master the basis of Arduino programming. Let's see. Whoa! The onboard LED is no longer static, it's blinking. Alright, so our program was successful. So let's try to increase the temperature and see if the fan will come on. So to achieve that, I'm going to look for a way to increase the temperature through a lighter and see if our temperature will increase so the fan can come on. All right, the fan is on. And let's see what the temperature is reading at the moment. 33 degrees Celsius. And that's why the fan is on. So you've been able to see how we use the if statement to learn about conditional statement as a way to master the basis of Arduino programming. So, so guys, to master Arduino programming, you have to learn about loops. And in building this project, you will use loops to circle through various colors on our GB LED by adjusting the brightness of the red, green, and blue components. So you can see this is another budget-friendly project that can help you learn about loops in your journey towards mastering Arduino programming. So largely, this project will help you understand how loops can be used to control repetitive tasks and create smooth transitions between colors, just as you can see. Hello guys, in mastering the basis of Arduino programming, function is another important concept you have to learn. So to achieve this, this is a multiple led blink pattern project to help you understand how to use function or how to implement functions in any program that you're writing. Because functions will help you organize your code by breaking breaking it down tasks into smaller or reusable blocks you know this modularity that function brings helps make any program or code that you're writing easier to read maintain and debug so in this project i implemented a a function call for the different led patterns first to blink all the leds all right as you can see and I also implemented a function for the simultaneous blinking I also implemented a function for the alternating blinking and also a function for the wave effect that you're seeing from the project so working on a project like this will help you understand the concept of functions and how you can implement them on subsequent projects or even more complex projects than the multiple led blink pattern. But this is a simple project that can help you understand the concept of functions without having to break the bank to buy a lot of expensive components. With a project like this, you can understand functions and use them in complex projects. So thank you for watching. 
And Hello, bye-bye. guys. In mastering the basis of Arduino programming, arrays and string are another important concept to learn. This is because arrays allows you to manage collections of related data efficiently, while strings are used to handle text data. So, combining both knowledge will help or enable complex operations such as managing multiple outputs like LEDs, the ones you can see in this project and display meaningful information. So this project is on lead sequence control with arrays and string. And the goal of this project is to teach you how to use arrays and string as a way to master the basis of Arduino programming. So in working on a project like this, you will learn how to use arrays to manage multiple data points like LED pins and um, how to use the strings to handle text data for displaying meaningful information. Right. To master the basis of Arduino programming, you have to learn the concept of random numbers. To achieve this, this is a project on random LED blinking with push button. This project will help us understand the concept of random numbers. You can see a random blinking of LEDs and this is happening just for a few seconds. I bet you could not tell which of the LED comes first. Now guess. If I press again, which of them will come first? Let me know in the comment section below. <laughs> so the essence of learning about random numbers is seen in simulations, games, unpredictable behaviors and out outcomes in projects or in programs. So when you need an unpredictable outcome or behavior in your program, random numbers is the key. So guys, you should try making a buzzer play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star as a way to combine the concepts of variable, conditional statements, loops, functions, arrays, and string to create a melody. So try creating this song using just your buzzer and all the concepts of Arduino programming that you've learned from this video. All right, thank you for watching and bye-bye. So let's head over to our ThinkSpeak and see if these values are there. Remember the goal of posting to ThinkSpeak is so you could monitor these values remotely from anywhere you are in the world. So guys, check out our thing speak readings. Zero, remember it was at zero for a very long time. Zero, zero percent, still on zero. Can you remember one of the values we had? We had one point, but this is still zero. This is still zero. And it also gives the time. This is a pure data visualization, All right? So, and this is the 1.98. So this is a real-time value. All Congratulations right. for making it this far. So, to build each and every one of the projects displayed in this video, click on the link in the video description below to assess a technical article that will help you build each of the projects. But not just building the project, but to understand each of the concepts discussed in this video so you can master the basis of Arduino programming.
thank you for watching and please if you are new to my channel don't forget to click on that subscribe button subscribe to my channel and if you enjoyed the video give me a thumbs up like the video share this video and thank you see you in my next video and bye bye